Hey everybody, the office has been in an uproar for a while now. Hey, was everything alright? They didn't find you, did they? Oh, I see, then that's probably using all this hacker business to clean things up. I doubt Kamashiro would uh, publicly admit to being infiltrated by hackers. It'd be a huge scandal. Where are those donuts? I'm guessing uh, they'll keep us under wraps. Let's return to the detective agency then. Come on, donuts, my no, feet are cold. I'm gonna bring some out and do. You gotta do the do. Never underestimate an opponent, I suppose. You think someone was eavesdropping? Of course. Hmm. Either way, we got the data we wanted. You don't say. All's well that ends well and all that. Okay, let's check out our spoils. <sighs> there should be details of the illegal corporate buyout by Kamashiro in those files. There's information on the Nile Corporation as well. Here it is, the file on Mikado Yamashira. Yes, yes. He was the lead researcher at Nile back then. Seems he was the man who took quite a lot of pride in his research. But he changed his line of work and insists he's never even heard of Kamashira despite their having bought out his own former company. Hmm. What's wrong, Kaio chan Hmm, this is very interesting indeed. There was another lead researcher at the Nile Corporation besides Mikado Yamashina. Ak Akami Suedo! Ah, oh, yes, I think I remember that guy. A misanthropist? A, a mis full on rapist. <laughs> uh -huh. He hated to be with other people and hardly left an impression. Kids, dogs, and doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's he have to do with anything? I don't know the exact details, but Akemi Sudo is said to be one of the architects of the foundation of the Eden Network. Eden? Sudo was? His main research was on turning human thought into data. The avatar system that forms the backbone of Eden's virtual reality service was brought about almost entirely because of his work. But to think that he would uh, did that while at the Nile Corporation... Hmm. Say, Kaio-chan, could you lend me a hand with this case for a bit? I've never stopped thinking about it. I want to go back over it one more time, real thorough. Doing it my, I mean, our way. If a true detective like you says so, I have no reason to deny you. Sorry, I'm going to borrow these files. Go right ahead. Say hi to my dad. Okay, see you later then. I thought your dad was fucking dead, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Well, there we are. Say hi to my dead dad. A tried and true detective will continue the case. I don't see a problem. I figured we would continue to assist with the investigation, of course. If you'll excuse me, then. Hmm. We all have our sorrows and our joys. I appreciate all of your efforts here. This investigation involves some pretty thrilling stuff. Even for a detective, you must be exhausted. Body, mind, and soul. Relax for a while. No, let's not. Let's not do that. I'm not tired yet. Hmm. You're certainly in good spirits. But what I mean is that you should rest while you can. That's one of your responsibilities, too. Because there will always be times when the cases won't wait. And you won't be able to rest. So you should rest now while you can. Don't waste the window of opportunity. You're not convinced? You, you must be overflowing with energy. Alright, I've got some work to give you. A special job that only you can do, and it's go fuck yourself. Hmm, such a rudimentary conjecture. No, you being a test subject was furthest from my mind. I was planning on giving you a treat. This pussy. <laughs> this hot rockin' bond. Let's try to match things to your taste this time. Alright, to start with, which do you prefer? Salmon row or sea urchin? I recommend both, personally. Next, I was thinking about adding in some stew. <sighs> what do you like as far as ingredients go? Well, what might you like? Carrots, potatoes, beef, mushrooms. It's fucking, fucking stupid. Mushrooms. Or should we just throw them all in? Fuck those mushrooms. Mushrooms are the devil's penis. <laughs> I don't know. It's they're fucking awful, is what they are. I hate fucking mushrooms. I hate them. They're fucking disgusting. 
Okay, what's our next move going to be? I think we need to get more information after all. Stupid, man. Oh. He's got the digital ways happening all over the place. The mystery incidents plus your half cyber body. Broadway. Plus there's the comic showcase that Macintosh is working on. There's a lot we need to keep our eyes on. Yes. Oh my, we have a visitor. Well, well, so this is Mac, uh, Mac Matayoshi's secret weapon. Matayoshi. Whoa, something is fishy. What's going on here? Welcome to the reliable and experienced Karame Detective Agency. Do you have a case for us? Assistant Inspector Mikado Date of the Cyber Crimes Unit Special Office? Hmm, you already know everything about me? That makes this even fishier. Well, I've taken the liberty of looking into you, too. That makes two of us. I guess we'll meet again. Hmm, fishy, you say? That's a rather lackluster way of putting things for someone as unique and individualistic. In their word and fashion choices, insisted inspector. What? So you say fishy, but what exactly do you mean by that, I wonder? Is there actually some foul stench you've turned up, or was that just a figure of speech? You've piqued my curiosity. Hey now, what's that got to do with anything? What's love got to do with it? Got to do with it? Well, since you know so much already, I'll just cut to the chase. It's not cut to the chase. You're helping Matayoshi with this investigation, correct? Then that means you're helping me with my investigation as well, right? No. But of course! As lowly detectives, we cannot ar arrogate our duty to assist the police. No one talks like that in yep. the right Brock. Nobody does. My duties are yours, and your duties are yours. Carry them out to the fullest. Oops, I have to be going. I have an appointment with the client. You think you're clever writers, but you're fucking not. You're fucking not! Okay, this is stupid. Stop it. Ha, huh, you were just thinking dirty thoughts, weren't you? What the fuck? Where does that come from? Nowhere. Japanese people are Did she look down and see his rock's fucking, penis fucking fully fucking erect? Y'all perverted. Perverted. Just because he has a boner. This is stupid. Oh. Okay. You've heard the rumors of the Akira disappearances. Nearly ten people have gone missing in Akibara. Half of them haven't uh, been officially reported yet, and it has been developed, but it hasn't even developed into a major case. But for a bunch of grown-ups to suddenly vanish, poof, voila, viola, without a trace, voila, voila, with a trace for no reason in the same of measly two months. I don't thought this fucking. It's weird, I'm telling you, this is a big deal. Fuck this, but as far as Top Brass is concerned, since there isn't any valid connection between these incidents, we don't really actually have a case. But my gut's telling me to investigate this. You got a problem with that? Then shut up and let me do my job. Didn't say anything. I lost my cool and started yelling at the Top Brass, at which point Matayoshi had to smack some sense into me. Would have liked to see that. So the higher up stepped back and left me alone. Matayoshi saved my bacon yet again. And <laughs> my need to keep my bacon is listening as, as possible. Be that as it may, I finally got why that stubborn old man would want to uh, would back away from that case so quickly to use a secret weapon for an investigation. Oh, Jesus. So there should be no complaints if I use it too, then. Yeah, you do understand. Let's get just get down to business. I just sent you a list of people who have gone missing, the Akabira disappearances. We don't have much in the way of details because it's not an official case. I used my gut to help me pick out individuals here in Tokyo which might have connection to any of the missing persons. What? You have a problem with that? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, shoot. Matayoshi's calling me. All right, I gotta go. You should gather info on the people on that list for now. Something is bound to turn up. Some person in common? A place? A shared hobby? That's how it is on TV, right? All the time. Oh, and do not tell Matayoshi about this. If word gets out, you know what'll happen. As long as we're clear on that. How did it go? Did you youngsters have fun? Have fucking each other? Hey. Fuck, let me save! Mm -hmm. Jokes aside, we've caught up with a pretty rough customer now. That's your no. That's my karma at work. Regardless, you took on the case, so I expect you to do your a good job, bitch. I'll stay out of Detective McIntosh's way by 
Way by not making any moves out in the open. Relax though. I'll still be supporting you. Well, let's get down to it. What are you planning to do? I see. Get info on the missing persons from a, a, that that one right there. The detective needs to needs to tread the same path over and over again. But I can tell you know that already. By the way, when I checked, fishy had meanings like shady, dubious, and tricky. And certainly, a detective might unknowingly take on a fishy air, I suppose. But I think that's just a front, and I'm not alone in that. Do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> As it is, you're an unconventional cyber sleuth. I'm looking forward to catching a whiff of whatever stench you wind up emitting. What in the fuck are you talking, talking about? about? You're out of your goddamn mind. Five text messages! I do. Cow. Go save in the Digi Lab. All right, guys. Next time on Digimon, but well, first, real quick, use those items. Memory up. Memory up. Awesome. We got select coffee beans. So happy. Alright, we'll see you guys next time for another exciting episode of Digimon.